Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, pr I pray you're having a good day so far. This being September the 11th and all. No big deal. Just, uh, hopefully. It is 11.37 a.m. And I'm going to share with you three short messages that I got today in Dawn's prophecy letter from overseas. The first one for September 11th is Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. Do not despair. When you look for me, you will find me. But you must set your heart to know me, to know me, to believe in me, and have relationship with me. That is your way to spiritual and natural prosperity. Your obedience to my leading is everything. Draw near and let us have sweet fellowship together. The verse added, 2 Corinthians 13, 14. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. I say amen to that. The next one <clears throat> for September 11th, given to Bev Robinson. This is going to be uh, one of those that's particularly for a certain person and probably several. There's a lot of procrastination going on. Uh, I tend to do that myself. Okay, let me read it. Something must be done to produce a necessary result. You literally despise doing it. Like maybe your taxes. Okay, that was back in the spring. But that's an example. It is not wrong or bad, just extremely hard to do. You keep putting it off or moving it to the back. You must get this resolved in your mind. Don't consider not doing it. That is is something your enemy wants you to consider. I will give you strength. Make up your mind and get after it. Do not procrastinate any longer. Now, I want to add my own little two cents here. I know, I feel in my mind, the Lord is telling people this because when you have something that needs to be done, you, you, I, I think in my case it could refer to I need to clean out my closet, take down my kennel, call a thrift store, and get it out of here. And I just keep putting it off. It's not wrong for me to not do it, but it's a, it's a nagging in my mind. When I go to get in my closet, when I go to make my bed, there's the kennel. It's between the wall and my bed. I have to pull the bed out to make the bed, push it back, and I moved it from over this side of the bed to that side of the bed so I'd have more room to walk between the bookshelf, which is now there, and the bed. You see what I'm saying? It's, just not, a, it's not a sin. It's not a big deal. Except that it causes me a momentary, oh, I need to get that done. I really need to get that kennel out of here. I really need to make some more room in my closet. I, I, I keep the fall and the winter and the spring all, you know, I've got some winter under the bed in boxes, sweats, sweats and things like that. But anyway, the point is, there's things I don't wear anymore. I have more than enough jackets. I need to just go ahead and let somebody else buy them cheap. Anyway, moving on. This is scripture. If you're reading along, you've already read it. <laughs> okay, this is the Amplified Bible version. I know this one by heart. Uh, Philippians 4.13 is, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's way up there. 
way up there on my wall. I'm going to try to point the camera to it. I bought it from Amazon. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It's above my, my uh, clock that I painted. Those two canvases. I was trying to make uh, the my rendition of Kathy from Grafted In Team Jesus' vision of the wall of many colors that we will go through when we leave to go outside of time. All right. Here in the Amplified says, I have strength for all things in Christ who empowers me. In brackets it's added, I am ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses inner strength into me. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. Closed bracket. And that was, like I said, given to Bev Robinson. Last one is this from September 4, September 11th. Though skies may look dark and full of danger, fear not, I am with you. I know you have remembrances of what happened this day, but roll those cares upon me. I cause all things to work together for good. You either know this or you don't. Yes, trouble lies ahead, but know that I am your guiding light. And as the pillar of fire, I will guide you. View me with your spiritual eyes. And what was added was Psalm 27 verse 1 from the NASB. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is the defense of my life. Whom should I dread? And that was given to Robin Robinson Bolin. And that's the end of this.